Recently, I released a video showing off some of the Christmas gifts I had received as well as some of the new products that I was testing. One of the products that I was testing were these boots from Polyver. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, three things that I want to mention. First, I would like to thank the company Life Range of Canada for sending me these boots so that I could share them with you. Number two, Life Range has offered that I could give away a pair of these boots to one lucky viewer. So stick around to the end and I'll give you instructions on how you can enter into the giveaway for a pair of these Polyver boots. And the third thing is, this is really not a long-term review. I have only had them three months. So so I can't give you a long-term durability review. However, I have worn them a fair amount in the last three months, and I can give you my impressions of them so far. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just go down to my tabletop here. I'm going to go over the boots in a fair amount of detail and give you some close-ups of them, of course, and then I'll also share my experiences with them. All right, just before we dive into greater detail on the boots, I thought I'd just talk for a moment about the company Polyver. So Polyver is a Swedish company, so these boots are made in Sweden. And these boots are well respected and very, very popular. And in fact, they have won awards for their unique design. So just going over the boots as I give you some close-ups, as you can see, they are a synthetic material top and bottom. They are 100% waterproof. They have a lining that is made from wool fibers as well as synthetic fibers inside. The, the linings are non-removable. They are uh, rated to a temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius. In addition to that lining on the inside, they do have this removable insole with this aluminized uh, bottom on it as well. So at the top of the boot, you can see this version has a snow collar that can be snugged up with a cord lock and some bungee cord. Uh, they have, uh, the material of itself is guaranteed to remain flexible at very cold temperatures. Now, I didn't get much below, well, I didn't get below minus 25 degrees Celsius, but I thought that was pretty good cold weather test. And I can attest to the fact that they do remain quite flexible and very comfortable to wear. In fact, the grips are uh, rated for additional traction and what's interesting about them I think it's kind of like the, the material there's nothing in the literature that states this but I think it's kind of like uh, winter tires are that the colder they get the better they grip onto the pavement for so for whatever reason even though these don't have any additional traction in them any any type of material to make them more traction they actually work very very well so I was quite pleased with that Having said that, I still tried these on with my Catula Micro Spikes to see that they would hold on to the boots for the really icy days, and I was very pleased that they do, so I can wear those Micro Spikes with it. It does have a small heel grab at the back here, which is useful for when uh, using them. Well, ideally, I suppose that's designed for skis. I don't do cross-country skiing, but I have tried these with my snowshoes, both pair of snowshoes that I have, some traditional as well as modern ones, and they work very well with the snowshoes. So again, very pleased with that. I've talked in past videos about the fit, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in um, a few moments time. But uh, I really like how they fit around my insole, the width of the toe box, all good features. So let's just go over a few of the specifications for the boots themselves. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna to need to refer to my notes for this. So the material itself is called polyurethane. So these are made from polyurethane, as I mentioned. They're rated for minus 50 degrees Celsius, which is minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The boots in this size, which is a US size 11, European size 45, come in at 4.88 pounds, which is 2.214 kilograms. The overall height for these boots is 16 inches, top to bottom. I measured them there. There, The opening diameter is 5.5 inches, or approximately 14 centimeters. And I'm going to talk about that and again in a moment, because I think that's important to when you go to size yourself for these boots. So I mentioned in the opening of this video that I introduced these boots from Polyver in that video I did after Christmas 
Christmas, showing off the Christmas gifts as well as some items that I was testing. And I will put a link to that video at the end of this video as well as in the video description if you're interested in seeing what else I was showcasing on that day. But one of the things I had mentioned about the boots at that time was the challenge I have with boots in general and even a bit so with these boots. And that's the fact that I have oversized calf muscles, extra large calf muscles, larger than average. So when I spoke to the company to, and before getting these boots, I mentioned that and they said that they felt that they would still work. Uh, they are snug and I'll, I'll give, you, give you some specifics in a second. Now they're better than a lot of boots that I have tried, other major brand winter insulated boots with a high, uh, tall leg leg area like that. Still better, but I would like to see these a little larger. Now, I uh, measured the top of my calf at its widest point. Of course, that's where you want to measure. And what did I say I measured them in at? So a diam uh, diameter, a circumference, not a diameter, a circumference of 45.7 inches all the way around, which is 116 centimeters. So when I put these boots on, I have just enough room that if I'm wearing a pair of jeans, I can fold them, get them down inside. They will go down inside. Uh, they feel snug, to be honest. So with that in mind, if I'm going to go out for a winter's day in the woods, normally I'm wearing a pair, a base layer pair of leggings underneath some type of a pant, usually quite a heavy duty pant. I'm not getting them both inside of these boots. That's just the, the short of it. I'm not getting both down inside. However, in that video I showed earlier, the pants that I'm wearing are kind of a, 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 a synthetic material pants that have a zipper that go quite up, up the outside, kind of like something you might wear for skiing or a cross country uh, activities. So what I was able to do with those pants is zip the side of the leg up and then put my boots on over my base layer and they fit very comfortably that way and then close the zipper down over the outside of the boots. So it works for me when I use that pair of pants, but if I had anything else uh, and was wearing a base layer, I would not be able to get inside of these boots. So I guess what I'm saying here is uh, if you're a person with extra large calves or larger than average calves, then you're gonna to wanna to measure the circumference of your calves. And as long as it's below 45 inches, then you should not have a problem. But if you're at 45 inches or greater, then you may wanna reconsider this style. Now I say this style because Polyver does have other boots in its lineup. They have a short version. I'm wishing now maybe I had purchased the short version. Everything else is the same except they're gonna be shorter. So they're not gonna come up over for that height in my calves. Um, I love these boots. It's just not the ideal fit for me. Having said that, I will continue to wear them the way that I mentioned over with a base layer in legging on the inside and the pants over the outside. So once again, I'll just say that if you are unsure, measure the circumference of your calf. And if you're below 45 inches, then you should not have a problem. Now, when it comes to sizing, this was the most complex sizing process I had ever gone, uh, gone through. It's all about measuring your feet in a number of different ways. And there is information both on the Polyver website as well as on the Life Range website. So I'm gonna put links to both of them. And I think that's important for you, especially if it turns out you are the winner of the giveaway. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few more comments and talk about how you can enter the giveaway. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments on these boots by Polyver. So my overall impression is extremely high quality, extremely warm, extremely comfortable to wear. I'm very, very much like these boots, even with that caveat that they are a little bit snug around my calves. I think most people won't have an issue with that. And I think you'll find that these may be some of the better boots that you can purchase out available on the market. Now, again, having said that, I've only had them for three months worn them a fair amount, gotten very used to wearing them, will continue to wear them, but uh, it's not a long-term review. So what I'll say there is I will continue to use these the rest of this winter into next winter. And if after a year of wearing these, I find that there's any issue with them that I think you should be aware of, then I'll come back and give you an update. But honestly, I don't foresee any issues with these boots whatsoever. Maybe the only caution I would have is because they have a non-removable liner, you're not gonna be able to pull the 
the liner out and dry it like you can with other felt lined boots. So uh, you might be tempted to put these near a heat source to dry them off. I would avoid doing that. This polyethylene or poly whatever the material is in these, is not supposed to be heated. In fact, uh, the only maintenance that you do for these is just wash them off and keep them out of sunlight. You know, it's pretty easy. So don't try to dry these with heat. That may well damage the boots. And I'll put the information for the warranty and that type of thing, of course, in the video description below, along where, with the links to where you can purchase these boots from a life range of Canada. Okay, now when it comes to the giveaway, we're just gonna make this simple. Just enter in the comments to say, I'm in, that's it. That's all you have to do. And one week from the posting of this video, I'll make another video drawing for the winner of these Polyver boots. At that point, what I'll do is I'll get uh, your information from the winner and I will get you in contact with Life Range so that you can figure out how they're gonna get the boots to you and get the assistance you may need in sizing. Now, there is one caveat to all of this. Poly or Life Range can only ship to Canada and the US. They cannot ship to the rest of the world. Having said that, if you were somewhere else other than Canada and the US, these are made in Sweden, so these are available internationally, and you may want to take a look at them as well. Okay, that's all I have. If you have any questions about these boots, or anything else for that matter, please put that in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore, and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.